On senior day, the Bates women's lacrosse team did something they haven't done much of this year. They lost to 10th ranked Colby College. But then, just three days later, on the road in the NESCAC tournament quarterfinals, Bates beat the Mules in a rematch by a score of 9-3. to three. Um, I think it was pretty clear on Wednesday that we just didn't play our best. We kind of beat ourselves and made lots of mistakes that all year we haven't been making. And so we just kind of told everyone the next two days in practice, we really got to buckle down and work hard. And, you know, we didn't play perfectly on Saturday, but we played a really good game and it was enough to beat a really good team. And we're psyched about that. In the previous three seasons, Bates posted records of 7-8, and 8-8, eight, eight and 7-8 eight, and and again. And that's it. With Saturday's victory, the Bobcats improved to 12 and 4 on the season and moved up to 9th in the national rankings. It's the second most wins in program history. The key to this breakout season? Actually, there are 10 of them. The 10 members of the class of 2016. Yeah, I think, you know, as freshmen, we only had two seniors. Um, so I think to kind of build off that and kind of, you know, work together and kind of start as a really young team, I think has really helped propel us to, you know, really get the success that we've had this year. So I think it's because of that. These 10 seniors bring a diversity of leadership styles to the table. I don't think it could be summed up by kind of one trait. We have a lot of different aspects of people's personalities that bring a lot to the team. We have some people who pump each other up. We have people who, you know, kind of get the team focused. We have people who are, are jokesters and just, I think we have everything. And I think that's what makes it so great. The 10 seniors are the largest senior cohort that Brett Allen has coached since he first took the helm in 2006. This Saturday, Bates competes in the NESCAC tournament semifinals for the first time ever when they go on the road to take on seventh ranked Trinity at noon. In a way, the clock is ticking on these seniors' college careers. I actually get pretty emotional thinking about that. Um, even before Saturday's game, if it hadn't gone the way we had hoped, there's a you know very real possibility that our season you know could have been over. The fact that we have five days of practice and we get to go on another road trip is sort of uh, a blessing in some sense. Um, because we've never done that before, and so to be able to spend more time with this group is, is nice. In the world of sports, a lot of cliches and buzzwords get thrown around. You know them when you hear them. Take it one game at a time. Hard work pays off. And yes, senior leadership. But cliches are cliches for a reason. They are quite often true. This senior class's leadership has Bates on the verge of their first NCAA tournament appearance in program history. And there's one more word to remember about this class, friendship. I've spent, I don't even know how many hours with these kids and they're my best friends. Um, and they will be, you know, long after we graduate. And I think we've just, you know, in uh, when we're fighting or when we're having the best time ever, we just learn from each other and, you know, are constantly making each other better. You know, it's really amazing for us to be able to make history, um, and I have an amazing group of friends and seniors, so to be able to do it with them is the best experience I could possibly ask for. They're my best friends, and I love them, and I wouldn't want to have this season with anyone else.